Hey Colors, welcome back to another interesting episode of Viva Barca where we are going to discuss on the hottest news of today. Of course, Xavi Hernandez being the most talked about news for Colors. Of course, as Barcelona has finally confirmed Xavi Hernandez's departure. Um, I saw this coming, many of us saw this coming. So on this episode, we are going to be discussing on that and very importantly, as we head on in this episode, we talk about the four reasons that led to the dismissal of Xavi Hernandez from Barcelona. Of course, many people will say, yeah, he went to the press conference and said things that was not pleasing to the president's ears. Uh, but there's something that will surprise you about the four reasons that uh, led to Xavi Hernandez being sacked by President Juan Laporta which we are going to discuss in this video. So guys, please, if you haven't subscribed, for those who haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you were just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are highly welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch right to the end. It is officially confirmed finally that Barcelona have sacked Xavi Hernandez as first team head coach. The decision was communicated to Xavi of course, today by FC Barcelona president Juan Laporta in a meeting that took place in the Suite Esportiva. A number of other members of the club's hierarchy were present at the meeting as well. With the like of Vice President Rafa Euster, Deco, um, Juan Sola and Boyan Krekic also attending that very important meeting today. It was also believed that the official confirmation might be delayed until after Barca's final game of the season against Sevilla on Sunday. But President Laporta and co have decided to progress ahead with the accent of the club legend Xavi right away. Going by the statement that Barcelona, of course, published today on their website, they said, the president of FC Barcelona, Juan Laporta, announced this afternoon to Xavi Hernandez that he will not continue as the coach of the first team in the 2024-25 season, the statement from the club read. FC Barcelona would like to thank Xavi for his work as a coach, which adds to an unparalleled career as a player and captain for the team, and wishes him all the luck in the world, the statement from Barcelona read. So guys, Xavi will lead his last game, which is this coming Sunday against Sevilla, of course, which will be a farewell game for him. Why it has not yet been made official, it will be Hansi Flick that will succeed Xavi as the manager of Barcelona, with an agreement with the German tactician already understood to be in place. Honestly, it's kind of shocking like the way Xavi went, but not kind of shocking uh, overall. I'm not saying it's shocking for me as a Barca fan because we all saw this coming. But personally, I would say the club did not do well in terms of the way they approached the situation because we quite remember Xavi himself have already announced when the season was still going up saying that he will step down as the manager of this club. And of course, which I respected that, like he wants to leave Barcelona with um, with a flawless, like he doesn't want to have a stain on his career, like he's been sacked. We know Xavi is a legend, whether you like it or not. And the fact that he has been sacked in such a shameful manner, because th this is a guy who just had a U-turn on his decision. But when the president and the board went and approached him and said, look, guy, please, we want you to stay. We see you as still the right man for this job. Xavi, with the love that he has for Barcelona, decided to make a U-turn on his um, previous decision. And honestly, I kind of feel for him. I I'm not saying I'm... I'm not saying it was bad not to sack him. It's a very good decision because initially, we all wanted Xavi to go. But the way Laporta went about things was not the right approach, to be honest. This is a guy who just wanted to leave Barcelona without a record like I've been sacked, stuff like that. But come on, yeah, he is. Being sacked in such a shameful way. Um, of course, all these days, we were hearing a lot of multiple reports um, up right, left, center about Xavi's future. And... It was kind of like, um, I'll say obvious because a lot of reports were pointing at that direction that Hansa Flick would be the manager and stuff like that. And it finally, like it was already a day that we were waiting, but it was the matter of when 
it was not even a matter of if because at the end of the day we saw the president sacking Laporta today after the crucial meeting they had with the rest of the board uh, there's nothing I can say, but I would say Xavi Hernandez have a good luck in his future ahead. And I hope that this does not have a stain on his reputation as a manager. We know this is a guy who loves Barcelona, but the fact that you love the, the club doesn't mean you're going to do well, right? Um, maybe his decisions were not the way fans wanted it to be, but I think he's a good coach. And But I think he, he things went so fast. He couldn't have gone to the Barca job. Like as soon as he left Qatar, I think he could have still been there, but maybe go to another lower level club than Barca and stuff like that, which I think many young managers nowadays have been having a lot of issues with, you know, trying to leapfrog to a higher coaching position, which is um, under higher pressure, which I think it's very, very risky as a manager of such a young age to take over such. Like we now we hear about play, um, coaches like Vincent Company. Um, linked to Bayern and of course those are all risky stuff we have seen the likes of Lampard, Gerard, I mean Rooney as well having their careers in, in the mud big time because they had to go for the money and they saw bigger clubs and when they are being sacked their careers are in the mud for sure so guys um, now quickly to the next um, segment of this video where excuse me for my voice, where we talk about the four reasons that led to the sacking of Xavi from FC Barcelona. Of course, we know it is after a long period of uncertainty, which is now finally official that Xavi has left. Why the decision was always coming, right? The official confirmation, nevertheless, was um, it came today. Shortly after Barca announced it, a report from um, Spanish newspaper Marsa has now come up with a comprehensive report on all the possible reasons that led to the departure of Xavi. The first is broken trust. You know, when we talk about broken trust, we talk about a significant point of contention arose from Xavi's public statement suggesting Barca couldn't compete with certain teams without signing new players for the market. These comments, according to report, deeply upset President Juan Laporta, who felt so betrayed by a coach who had expressed optimism just some few weeks earlier. The next and second reason is player management. Xavi's decision to rescue players in games like Antwerp match where the team had nothing at stake clashed with Laporta's vision. You know, the president intervened leading to player dissatisfaction, particularly concerning the team's physical preparation. Several key figures including Lewandowski, Araujo and Koundé were reportedly unhappy with the training methods of Xavi, which led them fatigued in final stages of games. Players reportedly even approached Xavi directly to address the issue. The next reason is tactical shortcomings. The sporting department also had reservations about Xavi's tactical choices, which they felt contributed to crucial losses. Throughout the season, Barca struggled to find a consistent style of play, with opponents frequently finding ways to breach the defense. The next and the final reason, according to this report, is crisis leadership. The club believed that Xavi's handling of the crisis that plagued Barcelona throughout the season fell short of expectations. His public statements and some selective player meetings, excluding certain key figures, were seen as ineffective. Furthermore, recent attempts to implement solutions co co collaboratively, such as changes to physical training methods or personnel, were reportedly met with resistance. While the full story remains very complex, these factors served as a catalyst to the growing disconnect between coaches, players, and the management, ultimately cementing Xavi's exit. So guys, what do you make of all this? Make sure you leave your thoughts down below. I will really appreciate it. For those who haven't still subscribed, please endeavor to do so, so you always stay up to date with the latest news from FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. See you next time. Bye-bye.